let's learn how to change the cover on a Pottery Barn kids chair. So you can see I've got a chair here. It's got this Star Wars cover and I wanna swap it out for this other one here that's just a solid green. So the first thing we're gonna do is flip the chair over and you can see on the bottom here, we're gonna have this zipper that goes around the width. So let's go ahead and open up this zipper all the way. Now I've got access to the inside, so we're gonna take this Velcro piece off. This is holding in the bottom, which is this big piece of foam, and it's kind of stuffed into the, into the liner here, so you're gonna to have to kind of pull it out along the sides. Okay, that's free. And then we've got these other um, fabric straps in here, and these I find, as you can see here, don't necessarily stay in place. So this one is already opened up in there. When we go and put the new cover on, we're gonna try to put them in as securely as we can. But we're gonna open both sides. This one's obviously already open. And then these little cylinder pieces are the arms of the chair. So we're gonna take each of those out, and um, this comes out here. And then the final piece, to this, you can see there's supposed to be, it's not uh, latched up correctly again here, but there's supposed to be a Velcro piece here holding this in. Let's go ahead and remove that. And then we're gonna take out this part of the chair. This is the back of the chair. Um, and that's gonna be all the pieces. So fundamentally, that's what a Pottery Barn <laughs> kid's chair looks like uh, without the liner. It's basically just a bunch of foam and kind of uh, like fabric pouches essentially. So let's go ahead and get our new uh, cover ready. Okay, so we want this to be inverted. We want the zipper facing up and we're gonna go ahead and open the zipper. And our first step is gonna be, we're gonna take the back and we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna kind of push it down to the end of the top piece here. Okay, so I'm just sort of stuffing this in. You can see it should be going down the back. We're gonna pull this so that it's tight. Um, try to get it all the way down in there so there's not excess fabric hanging over the top. Now our next step is we're gonna take each of these little side pieces that are gonna form the, uh, the handles of the chair essentially. Remember this whole thing is upside down. We're gonna insert them into the sides on here and then we're gonna use the corresponding pieces of Velcro to latch them in place. Okay, so those are pushed on in there. Now again, just take the Velcro from both sides, bring it together in the middle. Looking good, this is held in place. Make sure it's, you know, as secure as you can get it. And then our final step is we're gonna take that big bottom piece of the chair and we're gonna put it in here so that it fills up this space. Now, depending on your model of chair, um, you might find that when you go to lift up the back piece, that these pieces of fabric are basically positioned in a way that when you try to put the big cushion in, it's not gonna be able to fit. Like obviously this is kind of blocking this. If that's the case, I find the best thing is just open these guys up and we're gonna just basically um, lay this fabric, lay this uh, Velcro down on top of the big piece. I don't know why it's designed like that. I'm not sure if maybe there's some kind of configuration where there's a smaller cushion or something, um, but if you find that it's getting in the way on your liner, just go ahead and open that up before you put the big piece in the bottom. And when that's all in, you can see it uh, fills up that whole space. It's nicely held in by the little pocket piece to the side here. We can just basically put this on to kind of help hold it in place perhaps a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and close up that zipper. Okay, now final step, we just turn the chair back over. And here it is, we're looking pretty good here. And you wanna just sort of give it some, like some final shape, press it in, make sure everything looks good and sturdy. And uh, yeah, looking great. There's our chair with our nice new green liner on it. And that is the process we use to change the liner on our Pottery Barn chair.